Is Hip Hop Dead? You're now listening to From The Jump. Welcome to From The Jump Hip Hop Podcast. My name is Syllable. This is my co-host, Mr. White. Anthony Fantano's got an important message. I guess so far this year, there hasn't been a number one hip hop song or album. Oh my God, what what is going on? As Fantano says, there hasn't been a number one hip hop album so far in the first six months of 2023. It's interesting because it's not that there hasn't been a lot of hip hop music coming out. Right? No, there's I mean, been a lot. He's referencing a complex article that came out. With there's him. no number one hip hop albums or songs in 2023 this year a first since the 90s now what do you think about his general take do you feel like hip-hop is dying or you feel like it's something else going on is what's ranking right now on the top lists actually a relevant indicator for what the true hits really are so again just like simply being number one isn't necessarily all that. And when you look deeper into the Billboard 200 albums chart, like, you see hip-hop freaking everywhere. You see the new Moneybag Yo project. You see the new Dirk project. You see uh, the latest Metro Boomin project, including the record he did for the uh, Spider-Verse soundtrack, which that tie-in is one of the most culturally relevant uh, landmark moments uh, for hip-hop records so far this year. And y'all can check out our episode about Nas Morales talking about Metro Boomin and Nas and their project that got on the soundtrack of the Spider-Verse that he's referring in the upper right hand corner. Like, it is a huge crossover and it is gigantic that they're sourcing now hip-hop for multiple genres. It's become a global phenomenon. Is it really just who's charting on Billboard that determines what actually a hit is? It's not just the number ones and the number twos. You also have to look at the entirety of the list, right? Yeah. There's tons of people in the 100 that are doing hip hop music or R&B hip hop derivative music or even Latin trap, which is yeah. super popular right now. The influence of hip hop is still great just because you got a couple of country songs at number one, number two, number three right now. Yeah. That doesn't mean really anything for hip hop specifically outside of the fact that these three songs are super popular right now. Well, and you see the, the people that are coming out with the hits, Little Dark and Metro Boomin, and these are more like co-stars or supporting cast rather than the GOATs. Kendrick Lamar really dropped the ball last year as far as producing hits because if he would have come out with an album that's along the style biographically good kid mad city he would have had a follow-up this year i think already he would have already had a follow-up instead of some features that he's got with baby keen it kind of knocked the wind out of his sails yeah it's still a top hit but kendrick knows he knows it wasn't his best work hey, but there's also i feel like what's happening a changing of the guard right you got your drake you got your kendrick your j cole yeah obviously you got jay-z nas all of these like major players eminem they've made hits for years and years had number one charting albums but who of those people that i just named dropped an album this year this is also true so it's like yeah. those are usually the people that when they drop an album people show up and they they're able to put big marketing budgets behind it to the point where they get the number ones right yeah like we talked about metro boom and dirk Lil baby these artists are newer they're trying to get to the point where they're household names but they're not quite there yet Yes, maybe last year or a couple years ago when they were super fresh. Yeah. They were they were dominating the charts. I just don't think we've had uh, anybody hit this year that just dominates, right? Not yet. Well, that's because Nas hasn't released his other five albums that he probably already has <laughs> queued up with Hit Boy, seeing as how he's released three albums in the past year and a half. Like, yeah. And Fantano's got some great points about what actually determines if a song is a hit or not versus what's ranking. We'll go ahead and go to Fantano next on that. All Billboard charts, especially that number one spot, tells you is what happens to be the most marketable thing at that moment in time in the mainstream. While there is a lot of good music that does go number one, it doesn't tell you whether or not the music is good or even culturally relevant in a long-term sense. And I think that's a super important point. As we've talked about more than once, Billboard has put folks on their list of top rappers that shouldn't be there. You can check our episode on the upper right hand corner about Billboard's mistakes there. But he makes a good point because we're looking at the creator economy right now. We look at the fact that people are getting discovered not because they got the cosign from producers necessarily, but because they've already built up a following on social media, on YouTube, and because they already have a platform, they have a captive audience 
now they're able to blow up and we don't see the same kind of walls that were there before about musicians getting signed so you might have someone with an even bigger following than someone on a top billboard 100 list yeah and a lot of the stuff in the billboard is kind of antiquated right it's based on radio play it's based yeah. on spotify streams it's like those aren't the only metrics that are determining the success of people's careers now yeah. and people are also noticing that it's way harder to try to get a billboard chart to hit than just be successful with your own channel with your own platform yeah and people don't even care about billboard okay if you hit it cool it's a nice achievement but if you can be successful which is usually fame and money right for a lot of these artists yeah outside of hitting the billboard what would you care if and, you got and a loyal money? following yeah yeah so what do you think has a bigger impact for an artist do you think making the freshman's list or being on the billboard charting list what do the, you does nba young boy care if he gets a number one <laughs> right he still drops music religiously yes. and it gets to the billboard it may not get to number one right but I don't think he cares. I don't think he loses any sleep no. about not hitting number one on Billboard. No, and I think Nas is the same way. What did y'all think? Do you feel that hip-hop is dead? What will save it? Do you think it's completely off the mark? Or do you think it's going to bounce back just like everything else? Comment below, like, and subscribe, and tune in for another episode of From, From the, the Jump. Jump.